Hey guys, Josh Cal here, and we're up to the next game in the Mega Man Classic NES Super Omega Marathon thingamabobber. Now we've added bonus rules. <laughs> so I, for some reason, this one starts with like a story recap. I suppose it makes sense because um, <laughs> like the first Mega Man game like has no story, so they thought, well, shit. Um, we better tell people about that. Like I'm sure the manual said, but never said in game. So this one's telling you in game, and um, yeah, even though you didn't really need to read a manual to know the story because it's still pretty self-explanatory. Bad guys doing bad guy stuff, we gotta stop them. So Dr. Wily was behind the generic explosions in the generic city. Good to know, but that's some pretty good effect on like in the light hitting the trees and whatnot. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you, these um these cinematics here are really good for NES standards. <laughs> It's funny when I say cinematics because um, NES games aren't really known for having those, so even having them in the first place is pretty cool. Ooh, he's alive! Almost. Yes, yeah, so Rock has been converted to the super fighting robot Mega Man, or... It, well, it makes more sense in Japan, because Rock becomes Rock Man instead of Rock becoming Mega Man. Mega Man shattered Dr. Wily's plans three times, and yep. That's why I run Mega Man 4 now. World peace has been maintained so far, but history repeats itself. By the way, I love Mega Man's like hair in this. That's just like such a good shot, especially for NES, as I said before. Dr. Kozak, but uh, I can't read in time. Yeah, so essentially, Wily is not here. No, no Wily to be seen. Instead, we've got Dr. Kozak, who's the jackass. This time, equipped with a powerful new Mega Buster. So what the hell does that mean? It means we're ready to kick some ass. No, well. You'll see in like five seconds, because I'm gonna press start in like five seconds. No. <laughs> uh, Mega Man 4, not the best title screen music, but um, it's still pretty good. You know, I get, I enjoy it. Pretty good. By the way, uh, since this is part one, I should just mention that this is uh, in 60 frames, so go ahead and switch it to like 1080 or 720p or whatever if you want to see 60 frames. Okay, so anyway, so we have our Robot Master select screen for Mega Man 4. And uh, Dr. C instead of Dr. Wily. Kind of weird, but whatever. Okay, so we have Ring Man. Um, he uses rings. <laughs> uh, dive Man, he dives. Mm, he does do that. <laughs> and Okay, enough of that. Um, they pretty much do what their name says they do. Like, Bright Man is very bright. Why would there be a robot that does that? I don't know. But what we're going to start off with is Toad Man. So yeah, it uses the exact same like boss intro music as Mega Man 2. And uh, yeah, I already mentioned that in Mega Man 3, but um, kind of because like I kind I kind of like every game to have their own like thing. Okay, so anyway, yep, Mega Man 4. Uh, the slide, the slide is pretty much the same thing. I already got hit. Yeah, I suck. I hate these like dudes. They like what swoop? They swoop you like jackasses. Okay, so what's with that new Mega Buster thing? Well, I can hold down B, and we can charge it up and let go for a really strong attack. Kind of makes all those other abilities you can get kind of useless since you just spam this all day to win. Well, not really. Mega Man 5 is definitely guilty of that. It is... The Mega Buster in Mega Man 5 is by hands down like the easiest thing. You could beat the game without even like switching to anything else. I think... Um, if you don't have to use Rush, I'm not... Um, you probably have to use Rush. Like, coil at least once in that game. <laughs> but anyway... So the slide, um, if you've come straight off playing Mega Man 3, you may notice the slide. It does, well, it's pretty much the same thing, but it feels sort of different. Uh, it's pre it's pretty much the same thing, except I just died there. <laughs> I, I did not account for the rain pushing me back, unfortunately, because I was too busy explaining something about sliding, because sliding, sliding is clearly more important than anything about death, because, um... Yeah, because sliding. <laughs> no, but seriously, I love sliding. Kind of makes me wonder how Mega Man 2 would have been if it had sliding. Eh. Mega Man 2 is a good enough game, so I can't, you know, rack on about that. <laughs> Heck, if anything, sliding has maybe made some of the platforming in the future games worse because... Because, I don't know, they're just not as creative because... Ooh, see, that? thanks to the lives. See, they're just replacing my lives now, so they're really nice. <laughs> not as creative. So anyway, now I'm gonna try not to use the Mega Buster because it makes this fairly annoying noise and you can't hear the background music as well, so I'm just not gonna be charging that as much as um 
I usually would, because usually I'll just have it on like the whole time, like I shot it, it's charging again. <laughs> nope, no, nah, I'm just gonna use the regular pea shooter thing. Ah, uh, but anyway, no more rain. We're inside now in like the sewers. We have some pretty actually nicely detailed water. If there's one thing I can say about Mega Man 4, it's that, oh my god, the gra the graphics are the best. Well, get, well, who cares, because gaming isn't about graphics, gaming is about important gameplay, and which is true, but come on. Good graphics are good graphics, and <laughs> it's funny I say that though, because this is an NES game, yet it just looks so polished, you know? It's like they really put their heart and soul into this game, that even though it's an 8-bit game, I can still get down. So here we have a mid-boss, giant snail. You can only hit it when its eyes are open. And it has two attacks. It either throws this bomb or it sh shoots its eyes at you like that. Now, um, how does shooting its eyes work? Well, they take a... <laughs> I guess it just takes a page from Nike and it just does. Whatever. Uh, okay. Now, anyway, what was I on about at the start? Something about a new rule? Well, as I detailed at the start of Mega Man, or you know, the end of Mega Man 3, I'm sick of my crappy performances at the bosses, so from now on, we are doing Buster only, the first, like, run through of the bosses. I'll show, like, the weaknesses off when we do the boss rush, but, um, yeah, as for first runs, uh, yeah, Buster only. But of course, it's, like, much easier in these games because they're designed around, like, using the Buster because of how you can charge it now. But the bosses still can have some sporadic patterns. <laughs> it's like I I could get a non no hit run going, but um, not with like the crazy. Like some some of the robot masters have crazy patterns that you you can't like accurately predict them. So saying oh I'm gonna do a no hit run in this game isn't as like viable as it would be if you were just saying I was gonna do it in Mega Man 2 because Mega Man 2 well maybe like except Air Man. You can pretty real oh and of course quick man. You can pretty much rely reliably dodge everything. But this game, there's a lot of shit. Well, for the most part anyway. Okay, but here we are at the first boss now. My health is in freaking incredibly low. And by the way, we still have rush coil. And by the way, <laughs> this is the new pause screen. I uh, now it no longer just is a screen on the screen. It now goes to its own like screen where you can select everything. And there's there's no that like transformation animation that's gone. Not that I miss it, it was kind of annoying. Anyway, so my health is really low, but um, fortunately, this boss, oh my god. <laughs> you don't even have to be good at Mega Man to beat this guy, like, like, holy shit. <laughs> you ready for like the hardest boss ever? Dude, dude, love the boss music by the way. Oh yeah, this is some hard shit right here, look at this, oh my god. I, I how am I supposed to win? Oh shit. Shit, oh no, he's got me, he's got me on the ropes. Actually, I sh <laughs> it's funny I say that because one hit and I'm pretty much fucking screwed, so I have to not do that, accidentally jump instead of slide. And, uh, but if I can keep that up, we should be good. Yeah, look at this, this is beast mode. <laughs> oh, I did, oh, I did, okay, I jumped again, yeah, check it out. No damage, buster only, oh yeah, high five anyone? No high fives. Was that boss too easy? Yeah, that that <laughs> that boss was way too easy. By the way, best um best weapon get music like ever. It's all like, dun 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 dun. It's pro it's fucking cool. It's like I look forward to that every time I beat a Robo Master in this game. And we also got Dr Rush Marine adapter from beating Wanker Man. <laughs> More like Easy Man. <laughs> okay, back to the select screen now. Usually, and I, I say usually, but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> so, uh, Toad Man's weapon is strong against Bright Man, Man, Bright Man. Now, even though we're not gonna be using it against Bright Man, I'll still go in the usual order I play in, just because, just because why not? Okay. So we're gonna be doing Bright Man next. That light bulb just looks so easily breakable, you know. <laughs> Again, love the music, but. <laughs> Dude, I said about every stage. So this this stage has a pretty interesting mechanic. You kill these red guys, the lights go out. You kill the green guys, the lights come back on. And uh, they keep coming. Yeah. I like that fireworks animation too. Ever, ever, all the graphics, man. They must have like the best graphics artist dude in for this game. Which uh, I'm pretty sure is the same guy as the... Well, I wouldn't know actually. Why would I know that? Read the credits. 
Well, even reading the credits doesn't really help me because they all have like those cryptic ass names like something Chan's dad was it in the first one's credits? Man, they have like the worst credits. Okay, die, giant gumball machine. I, I, I can't believe I had to say that. Die, giant gumball machine. Only in Mega Man. Only in Mega Man. Okay, so I could have gone up the right ladder there to get up, get an energy refill, but I did not need an energy refill because our health, hell, health, our health is full. And uh, Mega Man doesn't need health insurance because he has more than one live or something, and he's a robot too, so that kind of helps. Now, um, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show this off, even though I probably shouldn't, because uh, you should only do this if you get Rush Jet first. But I suppose it's like a tutorial for these weird platform things that they just fall off as soon as they end. Except the green ones don't, they will go back. So anyway, you come over here, you get an E-Tank and alive, but um, if you don't have Rush Jet, you kinda can't get back as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, these red ones don't re- oh, they do respawn. Okay, I just- yeah, I just died. Yeah, but they don't- the red ones don't like come over to the right side, so you can't get back. Anyway, so yeah. But if you die, it just respawns you to here, so it's like you get a free E-Tank, because the life- that you got from there is like wasted, but anyway, yeah, still free E-Tank, so... You know I can't complain, that death totally doesn't count, by the way, because, um... It was unfair, <laughs> but I already died anyway, so what does that f what does that freaking matter, right? <laughs> no... I swear, the robots just getting- just get weirder and weirder in this series. Well, we got giant evil gumball machines, now we got... Evil totem poles that spit red shit at you. Because that's a cool thing. Don't touch the spikes, by the way. Okay, still one hit death. Why would that ever change? Now, I, do, I don't need a weapon energy refill because actually, this is a really good spot to show off Toad Man's weapon. So, Toad Man's weapon is pretty unique. You just send this thing up, and it's a screen nuke. It just uh, hits everything, so yeah, you don't have to worry about aiming at all. <laughs> but it takes a while to kick into effect, as you saw. Not really viable, only in a couple of situations could that ever be in handy. Now, a red guy's gonna come. I, I repeat, do not kill this red guy. You need the lights on. Alright, thank you. Now, let's do this. Now, I, I actually found this part really freaking hard the first time I played this. I was like, man, I can't do that thing at Brightman stage. It's just, like, improbable. But once you get the timing for those things down, it's pretty easy. Now, I can't stress this enough again. Wait for that ball to get off screen before you continue on at this point. We and when you get off here, shoot that guy, because otherwise you'll hit it and fall in the pit. Yep. See, I have to remember these things, because, um... <laughs> otherwise you'll die. <laughs> Which is not a good thing. Alright, I'm lacking a health a lot more than our health at the last level. <laughs> okay, so here's Bright Man. Now, Bright Man is really unpredictable. Um, I'm going to charge up a shot, because we're going to be using charge shots against this guy. Now, it's like, Bright Man is one of those guys where, even if you're like the best player ever, you can't like not take damage sometimes, because he's just super unpredictable. So he's, he does his shot thing, and he, he always shoots in like a pattern. He'll go... Whatever one he starts at, then down, like, he'll just continue. And he does this flash thing too. Now, if he does that flash thing and he jumps into you, you can't, you can't dodge that at all. There's nothing you can do. Absolutely nothing. How... What he's supposed to do is when he does that flash thing, he's supposed to... Yeah, he's not supposed to jump. He's supposed to do that shooty thing. And if he does that shooty thing twice, you'll be okay. But, yeah, again, like, if he jumps into you, there's absolutely nothing you, could, you can do. You can't dodge that at all. You can't... <laughs> can't do anything. I mean, Toad Man's weapon doesn't even kill him that quick, because, um... You know, there's, there's like a delay on it. You have to shoot, wait for the rain, Tss, rain, then shoot, wait for the rain, Tss, rain, shoot. Yeah, it's pretty slow. So, yeah, no matter what, Bright Man is a bit scringy, a bit lame, a bit... He sucks, he sucks. <laughs> okay, anyway, Bright Man's weapon is, oh my god, Bright Man's weapon is so strong against Pharaoh Man, it's not even funny. But we're not going to be using that. <laughs> so, Pharaoh Man's actually pretty hard if you don't abuse his weakness. <laughs> Since I'm not going to show it off, I'll just tell you what it is now. Um, Bright Man's weapon is pretty much like Flash Man's weapon from Mega Man 2. It'll freeze the screen for a bit, and uh, you can just attack the guy who's not frozen, I mean, is frozen, while he's frozen. Now, Pharaoh Man is the only boss that can be frozen by this because it's his weakness, so it, as soon as you activate this weapon, you can just keep firing pea shots at Pharaoh Man, who's standing still, 
the entire battle and you can just sit there for like a minute shooting pellets at him and he will just sit there take the hits and there's nothing he can do about it so yeah if you abuse his weakness Ferroman is like the easiest boss in Mega Man history even easier than uh, something man now another thing I need to tell you guys is Mega Man 4 sort of like Mega Man 1 has optional uh, like equip shit that you can find in levels. Now here is the first one. I have to make this gap though. I could- oh fuck it. I can- you can jump over this but I'm not gonna risk it just because I don't want to fall down this hole. So we're gonna use Rush Coil. Wait. Wait, I forgot the rules. No Rush Coil. Even if I, I'm gonna fall down this hole. No Rush Coil. I'm gonna have to rely in my slide jumping skills. Okay guys, here we go. Here we go. Boom boom boom. Uh, uh. <laughs> Epic fail, oh well. Good. The good thing is you can just like kill yourself here and you spawn back up there, but um... Yeah, I, I, I guess I pressed jump a bit too late there. But no problem, because... <laughs> no problem, because we can just die. Try saying that out of context. <laughs> I, I, I'd imagine you can get some pretty odd responses, but unfortunately that sends me like back to the start of level, so we have to dodge these like green guys again. Which actually, you can kill really fast, and you can actually like go under them, like look at that, you just go under them. <laughs> I guess the sand works like it does in like Mario 3, as long as you don't touch the bottom, you won't get killed. So you can use it to your advantage if you're like super pro and all that. It's like, better jump up, I was about to hit the bottom. <laughs> uh, the sand in Mario Bros 3, I remember when I was like really little. There's, I think it's, it's like the first level in World 8 that's like act an actual level and not a... Damn it, ah oh, for fuck's sake. I'm not rush coiling this. How many lives have I got? One? Yeah, I'm not rush coiling this. It's not happening. I need that item, even though I'm probably not going to use it that much. <laughs> um, Die. Kill me. Kill me. Gee, you lose a lot of health in this game, though. What was I saying? Right, that's that's cool story. Um, Yeah, so when I was really little, we were playing uh, Mario Bros. 3, and in the first level in World 8 that's not like a tank or whatever, uh, there's a sand, there's actually like a sand pit you can fall down that um, there's actually like a secret in it and I didn't know that so my like <laughs> I gave the control to my sister and I'm like here you can play this level now uh, my sister's like the worst video game player of all time and so what she does she runs into like the first sand pit and she doesn't like try to jump out or anything because like even though she knew the controls she just doesn't try because she's like dumb or something but what it turns out is that sand pit like I said is a secret so she fell down the sand pit and went into like, there's like a door you can go in which skips like half of the level or something, so that was pretty cool. Okay, I'm doing this this time, let's practice actually. Yeah, I got you gotta let go of down, otherwise he won't jump, yeah, that's that's probably my mistake actually. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Perfect, yeah, <laughs> see, I can, I, I can do things sometimes, although, that, uh, again, I could have just used rush at any time, but I'm not doing that, no, no rush a skill not not yeah it was so skillful it took me like three tries to do yeah I'm I'm the greatest all right but anyway here it is our first out of two uh, like hidden weapon things oh it's not it's not much of a weapon so much of a like helpful item which again <laughs> is kind of stupid because I'm banning them because no no that kind of stuff so what we just got is balloon which is um balloon is just item number one from Mega Man 2 so yeah, you pretty much, or if you've seen my LP of that, you already know what that does. Which I'd recommend checking out, by the way, if you haven't, because I'm doing all of them in order, so yeah. Cool stuff. Now, I kind of wish I didn't have zero lives, because this part's really easy to die at. <laughs> Don't touch the spikes. <laughs> and these guys shoot when you get close to them, and then you've got bats on the roof, which are the bats from Mega Man 2. They really ripped a lot from Mega Man 2 with this game, didn't they? <laughs> uh... Oh, shit. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Alright, uh, there's one more of those, I believe. What the hell's the point of this? Oh, I don't care. <laughs> I'll take it. Well, I guess, I guess they're just, like, preparing you, because, like, you guys, you need a break, because this shit's, like, hard. Mummy, nope, just slide under his head. Stupid. Stupid mun. Mun, mun, money, mum, mum, No, I, oh, shit. I'm editing that out, because... That was totally not my catchphrase, that was someone else's, I'm not allowed to use that. Um, yeah, these, these guys suck though, They if you take too long killing them, they'll flee behind the door. Anyway though, that was pretty nifty. Okay, now, 
as I was saying before, Pharaoh Man. Wait, I never actually said that. <laughs> okay, now Pharaoh Man, if you fight him legitly, he's sort of like Quick Man. Well, not not really, but you can get him in a predictable pattern half the time. Uh, we'll, we'll see how I do anyway. Do, do, do. I, I love that pose everyone does, by the way. They stick their hand up in the air like, I'm Pharaoh Man. I'm number one. Okay, so I jump like that so I don't hit his things. And then he starts doing this, like, wave thing. And you gotta keep dodging that. Now it's. Oh, shit. It's harder to dodge when he's up there, so you gotta, like, jump to, like, the, like, the perfect timing. Uh, please. Ah, oh, shit. Now that was a fail. Yeah, but if sometimes he'll, like, jump over here and. That's no good because, like, I my, my timing is practiced for when we're in the corner here, so. I only know when to jump exactly when he's like in the corner being a dick like this. <laughs> but no, that was that actually went pretty well. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Not really. Man, I can't wait for you guys to see us owning the crap out of him in the boss rush with his weakness <laughs> of Bratman. Hmm. I don't think Thorough Man would like the solar flare. <laughs> you got Pharaoh shot. What the hell is a pharaoh shot? Does pharaoh... Because pharaohs don't shoot things. Unless they're like magical pharaohs of card games. Uh, okay. Anyway, that's three Robot Masters done. So that'll be all for this time. Anyway, next time... Uh, wait. Who is Pharaoh Man? Right, Pharaoh Man is strong against Ring Man. Ring Man is strong against... Uh, Dust Man. Dust Man is strong against Skull Man. Skull Man is strong against... Drill Man, Drill Man strong against Dive Man, and Dive Man is strong against Toad Man, I believe. Anyway, so, yeah, next time, Bring Man. Thanks for watching. See you there.